In 1777, two years after the Revolutionary War began, the Patriots had lost their capital, Philadelphia, to the British. And independence was beginning to look like a lost cause. So how did another defeat at Germantown turn the tide in favor of the rebels? When British General Sir William Howe sent 9,000 of his men to occupy the town that lay seven miles outside Philadelphia, Continental Army Commander-in-Chief George Washington saw an opportunity to pounce. Four major roads led into Germantown. So, Washington divided his 11,000 men into four separate groups to attack from all sides. The battle began at five in the morning on October 4, when the British were taken by surprise. 120 redcoats barricaded themselves in the Cliveden House and Washington committed his reserve troops to try and dislodge them. But thick fog made communications difficult. Several of the Continental units, lost in the fog and arriving late, mistook their fellow soldiers for the enemy and opened fire. Amid the confusion, the British organized a fierce counterattack. Washington's troops had no option but to retreat to a safer position. In the chaos after the battle, they had an unlikely new recruit, the dog of British commander General Howe. Washington returned the dog with a brief letter offering his compliments. But it wasn't just Washington's reputation as a gentleman that was boosted by the day's events. The five-hour battle had taken a toll on the Continentals, but it had demonstrated their bravery and their commitment. Observing from a distance, the French, who until that point had chosen to remain neutral, were so impressed they decided to back the Americans, and the dream of independence lived on.